to Lake Mawala to fish the drawdown. It's an event that happens every four or so years where they drop the level of the lake until it's basically just a river to kill off some weed on the exposed flats. It's really awesome just to see and it's probably worth the trip just to see the lake at this low level and see all the exposed timber of the flats. I'm out here looking for big Murray cod so I'm fishing with some big lures and I think I'm going to stick with a surface lure and a diver since it's basically just a river. Anyway, make sure you subscribe to the channel and let's get stuck into things. Really new looking spinnerbait actually. I don't think this was lost very long ago at all. This feels big. Up to the middle. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a good fish. It's no giant, but... A very nice Murray Cod. Oops. I wish I had my net now. Let's get into a bank and show you guys and measure them and all that. I actually got something. I fully thought I was going to donut here, eh? I was really just coming for the experience, checking out the lake. I had a plan for what I was going to do when I landed the fish and how I was going to get nice footage of it and everything. And then I stood in the bank and sunk down like half a foot. So, uh, just going to be using the GoPro up here on the kayak and hopefully get a nice shot of this fish for you guys. Gave it a measure on the bank, it's 85 long, so 
no giant, but it is my second best for the season so far. 85 centimetres on the uh, JD80 Python. First time fishing this lure and I get a real nice chunky cod on it. <laughs> I'm stoked. Like I said before, I really thought I was going to donut here today, so any fish, massive, massive bonus. And for it to be a nice one like this, stoked. Here we go. To do a little bit of housekeeping. Um, I won't be uh, bringing the next one to the bank, that's for sure. The bank is disgusting. I thought if I picked the steep, firm looking part of it that I could just essentially step onto it fine, but I sunk down past my ankles. The sun's starting to set here, so we've got a really nice bit of light. I'm actually going to swap over to some top water now and start to try and cover a bit of water and see if I can find another active fish. Come back out this morning to fish the same areas I was fishing yesterday. Started off with top water since first light. I haven't had a hit so far, but I'm gonna persist with it for a little bit longer. If that doesn't work for me, I'm just gonna swap over to that diver that I was using yesterday. Really good lure, and getting your fish on it really brings some confidence in it. I've got a change coming later today, which hopefully switches the fish on. Anyway, I'm gonna get stuck into it again because I've got some really nice light at the moment. Nothing really doing on top water, so going over to subsurface to the lure that got me my fish yesterday. So hopefully it can produce one more for me.
Are you kidding me? Got my lure snagged on someone else's line. I just got hit. This one's big. Yeah, it is. Master's time for the GoPro to go for it. She's got that right in. Holy. Gotcha. There we go. Another really chunky cod here, Moela. Check out how she's got that lure in. Absolutely inhaled it. All right, we'll get her back, get the brag mat set up and get a measure on it. Oh man, I'm stoked. 83 that time. Thought it was bigger to be honest, the way it had that lure down, but it was actually a slightly smaller fish. Ended up just letting it go without holding up the camera too much. The bib from that lure got her down in the gills the way she would inhaled it head first. Anyway, I'm gonna get back casting pretty quick because I missed a hit not long before that one as well. do a bit of a midday check in here that change is hit but it's mostly just wind and a bit of cloud cover We've definitely got a fish through it it's been a massive grind here since that fish I've been fishing for the last four or five hours and haven't had a touch but I'm just gonna keep plugging away because there is a lot of fish around here and a fair bit of bait too so if I just keep casting hopefully I can get one to eat <laughs> no way.
<laughs> and just caught a lure. That's hilarious. An orgy too. Not a bad little lure. been a tough old afternoon out here. I've kept plugging away with the deep hard body but just haven't had any extra action. I'm making my way back to the car now but there's a few banks that I want to fish on the way there. Just pedalling back into the ramp as the sun sets now. I really wanted to get in before it got dark because it's a bit of a muddy mess at the moment. Been a really successful trip out here with two fish landed in the mid 80s. I'm really happy with that. I was expecting to come here and just cast lures for nothing and sort of experience the lake with no water in it. Anyway, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you next time.